And I was hired to take care of this huge volume of returns coming back from customers because they had so many quality problems. And uh, so I was managing customer service and all the systems required to handle this huge volume of returns. And I kept raising my hand saying, well, why don't we do something about the problem? And, uh, and so Yvonne Chouinard, the uh, owner of the company, said, all right, smartass. Um, why don't you do it? And I said, no, no, you need an expert, um, somebody who knows what they're doing. And we argued back and forth for probably three days in different meetings and phone calls. And finally he said, okay, okay, I, I give up. Why don't you just take the job and don't do anything until you know what you're doing? <laughs> I said, how much time do I have? <laughs> he said, I don't care, take a year, I don't care. So I did. So for a year, I visited companies and suppliers and customers all over the world, and I took seminars. And that's when I discovered Dr. Deming, and it changed my life. And it put, it aligned much of my thinking. I finally realized that what was happening in that Western Mountaineering situation wasn't, at, you know, at the time at Western Mountaineering, I didn't think that was real management. I thought we were just goofing around. Uh, and later, I've, I've actually tried the rest of my life to recreate that situation we had at Western Mountaineering in companies all over the world. It's very, very difficult to do what happened there. Um, but anyway, I didn't really wait a year. I, I put in the worst thing you could do. I, I uh, had to stop the returns from, or the uh, seconds from getting to customers. And so we put in this huge QC department. It was the first thing that I did. Um, the receiving QC department to try and make sure things didn't get to uh, customers. It did help the company though because it, it showed them for the first time exactly how much uh, of a problem there was. Anyway, and then we set to work building and documenting every system that, that Patagonia now uses for uh, design, development, production, and, and uh, sourcing of uh, apparel worldwide. Uh, part of that was the teaching of a six-week quality course and tools and endemic philosophy to every employee worldwide. This went on for almost five years. Um, almost 2,000 different employees. It was a really great experience. experience. Um, we taught the red bead experiment as part of that, and I tell you, to this day, I can't believe what an impact that exercise has. It, it really changes worldviews. Uh, 25 years later, people still tell me you know, about that game. Clarity, constancy of purpose for quality became our biggest tool. We build bombs, that's what we call them anyway, bills of materials. Bombs, specs, calendars, and agreements internally and with our supply chain, we developed probably the best QA manual in the world in apparel. To this day, it's copied. I'll go into factories all over the world and find a copy of our original quality manual. And it was great because what it created was clarity. What we had was photographs, detailed photographs of every different stitch and type of construction. And we started removing all the debate and decision about what was and wasn't acceptable. Great. Those photos actually all came from the factories themselves. They set a higher standard than we ever would have given for them. And, uh, and so when it was implemented, it was like turning off the faucet. Seconds just disappeared, at least half of them, overnight. We did something really uh, on a guess. I, uh, I changed our warranty. We had a very good warranty. It was a limited warranty at the time. Um, and I changed it to a lifetime warranty. And it really wasn't a warranty. It was a satisfaction guarantee. So it's a lifetime satisfaction guarantee. It's still that way to, today at Patagonia. Anything goes wrong with any product, you can return it. Or if nothing's wrong, you just don't like it or it doesn't perform, you can return it. Um, there's a tiny bit of abuse on that, but uh, very, very small. But it had a really interesting effect. It changed the, the kind of style of relationship between Patagonia and its customers. And this happened long before all of the system changes had time to get into products and out to customers. So this policy change had a huge impact on people. It's, it, uh, it, again, took the returns and started cutting them in half almost overnight. And I think it had something to do with the fact that we changed the relationship to one of a higher integrity and there was just no pressure on it. If you ever have any trouble with it, don't worry about it, we'll send it back. There was no pressure to get that product back to us. 
And it seemed like it was more of a mutual responsibility for purchasing wisely and us making a good product. It was much more honest. I thought it was just a good thing to do for customer service, but it ended up being a great thing for warranty returns. They went down dramatically. Similar to uh, Western Mountaineering, we started um, the, something my good friend Jack Stack. Uh, those of you who haven't read his book, uh, The Great Game of Business, please do. Um, but he calls it open book management. It's what we did at Western. We implemented that at Patagonia as well. And to this day, every employee every month goes through the books in great detail and understands where the money's coming from, where, is it, where it's going. Um, in HR issues, we uh, mainly changed pay to market-based pay system as something that was quite a bit fairer than what we had before, which was very random. Um, the company is known for having good benefits. That has built up over time, including probably the best child development center I know of. Both of my kids went through there and I'm forever indebted to the company for the care and education that they received. It starts all the way from infant care, at three months all the way through toddler, pre-K, kindergarten, and even after school care all the way through elementary. It's just a fantastic system. There's about one caregiver for every two kids in the infant stage and it only ever goes up to one and eight in the end. Really amazing. Um, and the company largely disconnected bonuses from performance, although that remains a difficult topic, and I'll try and touch on that a little bit later. This was a battle. Uh, qualities continue to move upstream into factory engineering and design. Product quality is now more of a design issue than a, than a production one for sure. Uh, and I can tell you that with seconds rates, and now in the apparel industry, this may sound high, but in the apparel industry, it's unheard of. Seconds rates remain under 1% now for the last 20 years. Returns are under 0.5 and they've gone down to 0.3% and that's with that lifetime warranty, including all the abuse. Um, so quality, productivity, and lower costs really do go together. 